Welcome to a new episode of Jackie's Corners. At the bottom, you will find the link to my book, and if you like these videos, like and subscribe. Daggers, along with bayonets, are bladed weapons made especially for killing people. Daggers were developed and perfected like 4,000 years ago. The dagger's main purpose is to stab the opponent, so he will die quickly. In my personal opinion, daggers are a pure breed offensive weapons. They are the best for trusting the enemy. They are mostly used by elite troops and they symbolize courage and daring in combat along with deceptions and steel. In this case, I'm going to show you a piece of history made by McDonald's Armories. Almost all the X daggers or met for fair band were made from surplus bayonets. Converting bayonets into usable blades is nothing new. Many armies do that because it's cheaper and faster than manufacture a new knife from scratch. And bayonets usually are made with good steel. If the conversion is made with the proper procedure, the end product is going to be a useful edge weapon ready for combat. Knife crafted from obsolete met for bayonets blades were made in this way before World War II in the Shanghai Municipal Police Armory, when Fairbanks and Sykes both served there through the early 20th centuries. This gave them the inspiration for making an initial batch of pre-production prototypes knives after taking residence at Inveralor Special Training Center, some looking very much like this example. This was the original optimum form of Fairbanks blade design. The X dagger made for me by Paul McDonald was a Lee Metford 1888 bayonet. They were known as the X daggers most probably because of the X stamp on their ricasos. The X stamp is for the proof mark that shows that the blade passed the bend test. These are variations on the first pattern fighting knife crafted with converted 1888 pattern Lee Medford bayonet blades. The main part of the blade is stock removed to create an 8 inches dagger blade with profile tupper to a fine point. Fairbanks original optimum length and profile. The, remain, the remaining length of the blade is crafted into a lapel knife, also retained in the same scabbard. I think that fighting knives should have certain characteristics built on them that allowed me to manipulate the edge weapon in many ways as possible and using different grips. Blades with a quarter inch or six millimeter thickness at the ricasso area. Long guards that protect my hand from my own edge. A generous toil that allows my index fingers to lay on that area with enough space between the guard and the actual edge. And at last, a metal pommel with a cool crusher. Elegance is not a determining factor, but if the dagger has all the bow attributes and on top of it is elegant much better. I choose this particular dagger not only for being part of the history of the Second World War and for being made from a 1888 bayonet, but for bringing together all these characteristics that I have already mentioned and knowing that its use is quite restricted in terms of hand-to-hand -hand combat is concerned. Overall length is 13 inches, my lucky number. Blade thickness is say 6 millimeters or a quarter of an inch at the Ricasso area. 8 inches blade with straight edges edging in a needle tip. It weighs 9.67 ounce or 274 grams. The handle is the same as the Fairbanks Sykes first and second pattern. The guard is a nice shape, in this case 
with a two and a half inches wide. Both sides of the Ricasso keeps the original bayonet stamps. The balance point is on the handle, 13 millimeters from the card, almost half an inch. You can perform all grips with this dagger, including the index finger around hilt grip and the alternative eye speak grip. 